ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ್ವ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ನಂದ ನಂದನ ವಂದೇ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದನ ಮನೋಹರ ಬಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶ್ಯ ಕಿಂಧುಭವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ ಕೃಪಾತಮಹಂ ಬಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದವಾದವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವಶ್ಚ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋಜಯೋಧೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರಶು ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ಭವ ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಿಷ್ಟೂಹ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಿರಂಚನು ತರಣ್ಯ ವೇತ್ತಿಹಂ ಪನುತಪಾಲ್ಭವಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೆ ಚರುಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನ ಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋದೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಕೂರ್ಮಾಗರ ಸುಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕಿಪಾಂಕರೋಷಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭುನಿಧಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭುನಿಧಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ ಹರೆ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನುಕಾಬುದಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈ ಕವಿತರು ಕಮಲ ಯಥಾಕ್ಷ ವೀಶಾಂಬರು ದ್ವಿಜರೋ ಜಗಧಾರ್ಮಪಾಲು ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿಪರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ತದಾಸಿ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರಿ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷಿ ತಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗ ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶ್ವನಾಥ ಬಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ಯವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ ಚ ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತ್ರೀದ ಸಂಬಿ ಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 
निशनिशन नाना मनोरथ धिया क्षण भग्न निद्रा दैव अहतारतरत्नासोपि देवा जुष्माद प्रसंग विमुखा इह संसरती जुष्माद प्रसंग विमुखा इह संसरती गौर गोष्ठीपति श्रीशील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर कृपा परमश जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट भगवान गोइंग टू अरेंज डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ सफरिंग एंड प्रॉब्लम डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ सफरिंग डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ भगवान अरेंज इन दिस मेटेरियल वर्ल्ड टू मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट इट इज it was not necessary for you why you are suffering gauriya goshtipati sisila bhakti siddhanta saraswati goshtami jagat bhopa paramahansa jagat guru told that bhagwan going to arrange different kind of pain full situation different kind of suffering here in the material world to make you understand was it necessary for you why you are suffering Actually, Bhagwan indirectly arranged this kind of suffering, not directly. Actually, Bhagwan indirectly arranged this kind of suffering. Indirectly mean through Maya, Maya Devi. Bhagwan directly never arranged. Bhagwan has no time. so busy bhagwan so busy he has no time to look at me no time he is always busy with brajwasis playing with sportive moods always with sportive moods enjoying no time so bonded soul never can get in contact with bhagwan directly directly they cannot because our prayer cannot reach up to bhagwan directly that is why we are approaching guru vishnu you are catching their lotus feet please save me that is why out of their causeless mercy they are going to accept our case they are going to accept our case dangerous case okay no problem then they are going to pray to bhagwan then bhagwan arrange something for us but directly no this kind of suffering this kind of painful situation all around this world all are arranged by maya devi i mean indirectly by bhagwan to make us understand what is the necessity why you are suffering was it necessary for you i call you come here i call you come here to me but you are not coming going there what i can do that's why in gita bhagwan speaking those bonded souls they are so foolish they are always busy with enjoyment material enjoyment or they are going to some they are going to do some good activities pious pious activities they are going to do some pious activities but they don't know bonded soul sometime they are ready to do some pious activities also some motive is there what is that motive a pious activity is i do i can get some facility that's why they always try to do some uh, and, and the the other group the other group they are busy with sinful activities 
The other group, they are busy with sinful activities. But Bhagavan speaking, but Bhagavan speaking in Gita, that I am less interested about your pious activities and sinful activities. What is concerned to me? Because you are not going to give response to my call. I am calling you through Guru Vishnu, through different scriptural advice, I'm, but you are not paying any attention to my call. What I can do? Bhagavan speaking to Arjun, Nadatya kasachit papam na chaiva sukritim vivum agyanena avritam gyanam teno muhyanti yantava. Bhagavan speaking in Gita, Je that Vibhu Vastu, Bhagavan, less interested about your pious activities or sinful activities. It is all your responsibility. It is all your responsibility. Why you are going to, why you are going to propagate this kind of, you know, result of bad activities and good activities? I am less interested about them. That's why Bhagavan speaking in Gita, Nadatya Kasachit Papam, Bhagavan, Bhagavan, not going to accept your, the result of your sinful activities, either Bhagavan, eh, neither Bhagavan going to use, nor Bhagavan going to accept your, the result of your pious activities. Bhagavan says, I am not taking. Every action has, has its equal and opposite reaction. Every action has its equal and opposite reaction. That jiva, according to a karma fall, they are getting. In Shastra, it is written, anyway, all jiva, each and each and every jiva, they are bound to accept their karma fall. Who can accept? Nobody can accept. Your son can accept? No. Father, your father? No. Your mother, husband? No. Nobody. Nobody can take. You will have to take. You will have to take your result of your activities. Nobody is going to take charge of that. Bhagavan also not. But you, 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 are, you are given. You are given free will. So you are doing what I can do. I have nothing to do. That's why in Shastra it is written, Avashameva Bhaktavya Krita Karmam Shubha Shubham Avashameva Bhaktavya Avashameva Bhaktavya Krita Karmam Shubha Shubham Or good or bad any activities, good or bad any activities, any jivas doing, he will have to or she will have to take charge. Nobody can take. Bhagavan, no, no. I cannot take. Why should I take? I never told you. I never told you to run that way. I never told you to run that way, this way. Why you are running? I told you, Madhjaji, Mang Namaskuru, you come to me, you pay Dandavat to me, you worship, but you are going opposite way. What I can do? Nothing to do. People are so foolish, especially those who are having full faith in karma kanda. People are so foolish, especially those who are having full faith in karma kanda. They are less interested about paramartha. They are less interested about paramartha. Bhajan, oh bhajan, paramartha. They are so materialistic that they like to say, well, I have done this. What is the return? I have given 100 rupees to sadhu. What I am going to get? So materialistic. They are less interested. I am giving 100 rupees sadhu. So what result I can get? Let me see. So they are so materialistic. Always busy with it. 
the result of their material activities, whatever they are doing, good or bad, they like to get result. So some people, they are going to do some ritualistic activities, auspicious activities, pious activities, and some group going to do sinful activities. But anyway, jivas what to do? Without doing anything, without doing anything, they cannot stay. Either they can do some good thing or bad thing, but they can do. Jivo cannot, Jivo cannot, Jivo can, Jivas, they cannot sit ideal, doing next to nothing. They can do, either good or bad, they are, good. They are bound to go. But they don't know, those pious activities cannot give, cannot make them free. Sinful activities, okay, for sinful activities, Surely they are going to get result of their sinful, okay? They can go to hell. Sinful activities, even in Bible it is written. Those who are doing sinful, they can go to hell. But the one mistake there, they are speaking, they are going to hell forever. That is wrong Siddhanta. Why? Bhagavan is neutral personality. Why Bhagavan sent somebody to hell for infinity period? Bhagavan cannot get chance to come up. It's wrong, Siddhanta. It's not good. Bhagavan can give chance, okay. And those who are doing pious activity, they can go to heaven forever. It cannot so happen. In Gita, it is not written like that. In Gita, it is not written like that. In Gita speaking, Chine punne mattolokam vishanti. When the result of your pious activity is over, I mean finish, Balance it, you know, account. You have done so nice activities, your enjoyment done, all balanced, then they can throw you in this material world again. Then they can also again can throw you in this material world. So it is written, Shine Punne Matalokam Vishanti. Again they can come. But one problem is there. Those who are doing sinful activities, they are going to hell. They are feeling pain, big problem. But if some Jivatma going to heaven, don't think that heaven is totally, don't think that the heaven is totally free of Maya. Don't think that. There is also the effect of Shataraja Tamagun. In heaven also. In heaven also there is the effect of Shataraja Tamagun. But less. Shatogun is a predominating factor there. Shatogun is a predominating factor there. Rajagun there. Atamagun very less can be there. So, if some jiva going there in heaven, they are getting abnormal enjoyment. Abnormal. Inconceivable. They are enjoying there. This kind of enjoyment, even in dream, you cannot realize with beautiful ladies or beautiful garden all flying in the sky you know in a flying money there is chariot all different kind of enjoyment nice nice thing to enjoy no disease nothing in heaven no disease no disease so those who are doing sinful activities they can go to hell, but before that they will have to suffer different kind of dangerous, dangerous disease. But those who are going to heaven, there is no disease, there is no sweat, no tiredness, nothing. Environment, environment is like that, there is no tiredness, no fatigueness, nothing. All of a nice, all as fresh. So, after going there, Jeevas are enjoying and one facility they can get due to the environment there in the heaven. Always some pious activity going. Jagya, these, that. In Bihad Bhagavatam, I already told. Always Jagya going on, these, there, always. So pious activity is always going on. So there is less possibility for Jiva to develop 
dirty attitude, there is their possibility, but less possibility. Follow. This, uh, this is the problem. But anyway, Bhagavan Sri Krishna is speaking to Uddham. Anyway, you go anywhere, wherever you like. You can go to Brahma Loka or you can go to Tapa Loka, wherever you like to, you can go. But be sure there is no permanent solution. Be sure about it. There is no permanent solution. You can go to heaven, okay, you can go. But, but your going, but your going to heaven is not final solution. Your going to heaven is not final solution. You can, cannot give, but what is the reason? Maybe you can stay there for a long time, enjoy. But I, any, either way, or if you do pious activity, or you do sinful activities, anywhere there is no permanent solution you can do. Anywhere permanent solution is not there. Permanent solution is not there. Always, everywhere, some tension must be there, some competition must be there, maybe less or but everywhere. So, Bhagavan speaking, there is no permanent solution. So, those who are really intelligent, they must do Hari Bhajan is the only solution, the only solution. No alternative. If you like to search out some, if you like to search out some alternative, no alternative. The only solution you have to do, Hari Bhajan. People are running behind money, position, everything. You show me, you show me one single personnel. You show me one. I request you show me one, you one. All over the world. Who is running behind position, Ram, love, puja, so many things. You show me, they are enjoying bhakti. They are enjoying love for Bhagavan. No possible. Why one pure Guru Vishnu? They are so happy. Even when I have seen, even when that sadhu is going to leave body, maybe today or tomorrow, any time, but all is smiling. I have seen. I, I got the chance to serve that kind of Vaishnava, Satyagavinda Maharaj, Giri Maharaj, or Guru Maharaj. I have seen, they are laughing. Suffering so much inside. No prasadam, nothing lying. Maharaj, Maharaj are laughing at me. So I have seen practical experience. So why? Because they have love for Krishna. They have love for Krishna. That's why Krishna is there inside their heart. That's why anywhere they can go anytime, jivas can become very happy. It is called in Rasamrita Sindhu, in Bhakti, in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, it is written, Rupa Goswami was writing, Prinanam Sarva Jagatam. How and which way? What is the procedure? That they are successful to make, to, to make everybody happy by their darshan. Only by darshan. If any bondage is coming, Maharaj, how are you? It's called Prinanam Sarva Jagatam. Any creature in this world, they cannot go against them. Remember, any creature, any man, woman, demon, witch, they cannot go against them. They cannot go. Even one snake, if come in front of them, the snake cannot bite them. Guru Maharaj personally told me, Guru Maharaj personally, practical told me, my son, you see, if you are free from any jealousy, if you have no fighting mood with any creature in the world, totally above this material limit, I mean, beyond 
the influence of Sataraja Tama. If you come in front of a poisonous snack, Guru Maharaj told personally, if you come in front of poisonous snack, that poisonous snack cannot bite you. If you, if you, even if you mistakenly put your leg on the snack, the snack cannot bite you. Guru Maharaj told me, not possible. Because they have no enmity, no? Because they have, they have no enmity, they are speaking heavy. They are speaking heavy out of their affection. They are speaking heavy out of their affection to save everybody. That doesn't mean they have angry attitude inside. They like to take some, uh, you know, revenge. No, that. No question of any mood of retaliation. No question. They never like to take any revenge. Maybe they are taking everything. They take everything. That sadhu is totally penniless. No cloth, nothing, still satisfaction. Abhiklava matir bhutva harireva dhyas maret. It is written in Bhagavatam. Abhiklava matir. No agitation, no reaction, no excitement, nothing. In Bhagavatam it is confirmed. In Bhagavatam it is confirmed. Abhiklava matir bhutva harireva dhyas maret. Harimeva dhyas maret. Any situation, at any adverse, at any adverse situation, they are put into, but still they are not agitated. They believe on Supreme Lord. You are there. Maybe it is your arrangement. That's that's why you are making. So in Shastra, Gita also, it is prohibited. What is prohibited? You should not express anxiety. You should not express anxiety. Are Maharaj, how is that possible? He is going to give me anxiety. I cannot feel anxiety. No. In Gita, this is it. If somebody is going to give you pain and anxiety, but you should not feel anxiety. And at the same time, you have, you, you should not give any anxiety to others. In Gita, you can go through Gita. You cannot give anxiety to anybody, or anybody like to give you anxiety, you should not take anxiety, free. But it is not a matter of joke. It is not a matter of joke. So that, so that overnight you can do it. It is not a matter of joke. Everything. But impossible, I cannot say. It is, it is really very difficult. But I can never say it is quite impossible. I can never say. I can never say that it is, it is quite impossible. Why? Why should I say? Because practically we have seen our Guru Varga laughing and laughing and going away from the material world. We have seen our Guru Varga going away from this material world with some ecstatic feeling. And they promise us, I am there, no problem, come. I am there. I am going to cross over this ocean of Maya. What's out? I am there with Bhagavan. I am going to show you. I am not in Maya. I wanted to show you how to cross over this material ocean. I am not in my I am always with Bhagavan. But I wanted to show you. But you cannot do because you are not following me. If you are not 100% inclined unto the lotus feet of Guru Vaishnava, then Guru Vaishnava cannot give any guarantee. Guru Vaishnav cannot give any guarantee if you are not 100% inclined. All your, all your sitting, eating, sleeping, speaking, thinking, watching, all should be regulated by Guru Vaishnav. Can you do it? Impossible. All your sitting, eating, sleeping, 
moving, thinking, watching, all should be controlled by that supreme divinity or I would say by Guru Vishnu. Something is impossible, but possible. If not possible, then we can break our heart. If not possible at all, we can break our heart. Oh, we are giving so much energy. No possible. Yes, possible. That's why our Shastra is going to guide us properly. Bhagavan Sri Krishna going to give his last advice to Uddhavji Maharaj. Not because Uddhavji Maharaj is foolish number one. Not because that Uddhavji Maharaj is foolish number one. Not that. Uddhav Maharaj is a number one wise, wise personality, knowledgeable personality, divine personality. But still, Uddhavji Maharaj, on behalf of us bonded soul, going to put this kind of question in front of Bhagavan Sri Krishna. So that there can be some document that this question came and this all answer also came, solution. That is the only reason for why they are strong. There is a reason. Now point is there. Bhagavan Sri Krishna one by one speaking everything to Uddhavji Maharaj. And in course of his discussion, he is discussing all about the Jyodu Maharaj and that Avadhut Sanyasi, I mean that Brahman, that Avadhut, who is called Ajagar Tapashi. I mean Python Tapashi, Ajagar Tapashi, who is leading his, who is leading his life exclusive way, which is impossible for, for anybody. He is going to depend upon the desire of Bhagavan totally. Not any effort, any desire, any activities, only lying and waiting for the Kipa of Bhagavan. This way I told you yesterday how our Abadut Maharaj speaking that there is infinity maya. I told you yesterday, maya is infinity. Power of maya is infinity. Bhagavan himself speaking in Gita, Je mama maya duratthaya. Nobody can cross over my maya. No challenging mood can stand in front of maya. Mama Maya Durataya. There is no solution. Yes, solution is there. Solution is there, the only solution. Mame Vaje Prapadante Maya Metam Tarantite. Bhagavan speaking, the only solution. The only solution there. What is that? Mame Vaje Prapadante Maya Metam Tarantite. Who is going to take shelter unto my lotus feet? He can cross. Only he. Nobody else. No other way. Mama Maya Duratvaya. Impossible to cross over this, this ocean of Maya. Even Shankar Bhagavan, who is Kamjai, even he cannot put challenge that I can cross over this Maya. Even Brahma cannot put challenge. Nobody, nobody there can put challenge. You will have to depend upon the mercy of Bhagavan. That is the only way, no other way open before us. Yesterday I was discussing that why, why the teachings of Siman Mahaprabhu so tough? Somebody can put question, well, why? The Mayavad is more practical. We can go and do this very easy. 
Oh, we can become Shakta. We can become Shakta. We can worship Kali. Oh, very easy. Why should we follow so top Mahaprabhu? Oof. Why? Because it is really impossible for bonded soul to cross over this Maya. That's why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted to put so many restrictions in front of us. Bonded soul, don't do this, don't do this. If you do this way, then you can get lost. I cannot help you to come out of Maya. It's not possible for me. You can remember, I discussed at the time of Gaur Purnim, Niskin Chanasa Bhagavad Bhajanun Mukasya. You can remember, you forget. Niskin Chanasa Bhagavad Bhajan Un Mukasya, Param Param Jigo Misha Bhavasagarasya, Sandarsanam Vishayanam Atho Yashitanancha Hahanto Hahanto Vishyavakkanatya Apar. Asadhu. I am not speaking. If you like to become angry, you become angry with Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu too. Mahaprabhu speaking, Niskinchanasa. Those who like to become Niskinchan. Niskinchanasa Bhagavad Bhajan Unmukasya. Those who are interested to get the lotus feet of Bhagavan. Niskinchanasa Bhagavad Bhajan Unmukasya. Parang, 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 jigo misha bhavasagrasya. Those who like to cross over this material ocean very easily, for them, for them, I like to put this as not for everybody. I am not saying everybody. For only for them. Because they like to get Bhagavan. So if you like to get Bhagavan, you have to suffer, no? You have to follow strict regulation. So Bhagavan speaking, Niskinchanasa, Bhagavad Bhajan Unmukasya, Parang Parang Jiga Misha Bhavasaragas Bhavasagarasya Sandarsanam Vishana Mata Jashitanancha Ha Hanto Ha Hanto Bisha Bhakanatva Apyasad. It is far better to drink it is far better to drink poison. Mahapur speaking, it is far better to take poison and die. Before you like to enjoy with material person and Yoshit. Yoshit doesn't mean only woman. Yoshit means Kamini Yoshit, Kanchan, Mani, position, everything, Patishta Yoshit, all. Not that only Kamini Yoshit, only woman. Because women, they have no, they are not going to be blamed. It is a nature. It is the nature. They are created this way. What they can do? But you should be very careful. And those Matajis, they also should be very careful. On their behalf, if they like to do Hari Bhajan, they must be very careful about man. As a man, they should be careful about it. Joshita Nancho Ha Hanto Ha Hanto Konoti Api Ashadu. Mahapo speaking about material man, I mean, eh? material man and Joshit, both. Joshit also extensive meaning, I already told many times. Now I am not looking. So, about this. That is why Mahaprabhu was not ready to meet with Raja Prataparitra. That is why Mahaprabhu was not at all ready to meet with King Prataparudu. Why? Because he is king. But he is great devotee. He is great devotee. But still Mahaprabhu, no, he is king. How I can meet? I am sannyasi. For me, to see one rich man, I mean material man, and king, minister, all prohibited. And for me, to see any yashit with enjoying mood, also dangerous. If I look, if I look that this position is very good, I should attend that post of Acharya. That is also Joshit for me. If I like to attend the post of it's very good, everybody honor. So they can get girl and money, very good. So it is more practical, I can attend that. So that become one 
Joshit for me. This become Josh, that post of Acharya become Joshit for me. Follow. It's become Joshit. Mahaprabhu speaking and Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking to the same thing. But let's see how to cross over this problem. First problem is that you are going to find fault with others. There is a nature. And Kama, Krodho, Lobho, Moho, Master you always there. Bhagavan speaking, unnecessarily you are going to fight with others. The enemy is there inside, the enemy is there sitting inside you. The enemy is there sitting inside you. So you are going to fight with others. Bhagavan speaking, Kama, Esha, Krodha, Esha, Raja, Gumas, Samad, Bhavaha, Mahasana, Mahapapna, Vidhi, Namenam, Bhairinam. Is all your enemy. And Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking to Uddhavji Maharaj about the case. Bhagavan is very clever. Bhagavan sometimes speaking something directly. But most of the time Bhagavan want to you know, arrange our advice through one Guru Vaishnava or Bhagavan. A Guru Vaishnava. Follow. It's very clever, Bhagavan. So, that Brahman, I mean that Abhudut is there, that Abhudut Maharaj is there. Bhagavan speaking, Uddhav, that Abhudut speaking very carefully about how to, how to go out of the influence of your enjoying mood. Enjoying mood means, mean, enjoying mood means, you are running behind Shabdo Sparsho, Rubra's Gondo. Shabdo, Sparsha, Rubra's Gondo. Gondo means Shabdo. Shabdo means sound. Shabdo, Sparsha, touch. Sparsha. Eh? All this kind of five basic thing of enjoyment. In the whole universe, wherever, whatever, wherever, whatever enjoyment there, you try to search out, you try to calculate, you can find some or other kind of enjoyment there out of these five. Shabdo, either Shabdo, Sparsho, Shabdo, Sparsho, Rup, Rash, Gandhu. Smell, Shabdo, Sparsho, Touch, Shabdo, Sparsho, Rup, Beautiful, Rash, Test, you know, ros or gondo smell. Those are the five, those are the five, those are the five basic elements of your enjoyment. Be careful. Then that Brahman, I mean Avadu speaking very carefully, is speaking, Hey Jodhu Maharaj, I wanted to learn this all basic thing very carefully. I was very alert about learning. If you are not alert, sincere, even if you can go in front of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Baba, still you cannot get Bhakti. You can get Bhakti if you are not sincere. Alert, always alert. Alertness is a very important thing with Vaishnava. Your alertness about your purity of mind and body, your alertness about your pure, about the about the, your purity of your body and mind can help you to develop such consciousness under the guidance of Guru Vishnu, not not fanciful, can make you understand who is sadhu, who is cheater. Follow what I say. Your alertness about your purity can give you such a nice, you know, consciousness level can hold, go die, go, go up, consciousness level under the guidance of Guru Vishnu, that you can very easily understand 
then you can very easily understand that this is real sadhu, this false sadhu. Automatically. I need not guide you. I need not guide you. can automatically yourself can say what is the false. Can false is right. Automatically you can understand. Now, Jodhu Maharaj speaking, Maharaj, this five basic object of enjoyment, most basic object, Shabdas Parsvarup Rasgandha, how I have learned, I have, how I have learned all this very important thing, how to cross over the trick of Maya. I learned, I am one by one speaking to you, speaking. Shabdo, Bales, I am learning it from deer, deer you know. A deer is always fond of sound. If you play music, very sweet fruit, then deer can come. It is the nature of deer. It is the nature of deer. Deer always like to enjoy hearing material sound. Oh, sweet. Deer can come. Follow. It is the nature. So, Abhadu Sanyas is speaking, Maharaj, I learned it from the deer. How? But the deer, when one hunter and to play on a fruit very sweetly, that uh, by hearing the fruit that uh, that from different place deer coming, but the deer having no information about the trap. So there is one trap and the deer become caught into that trap. This way, our Avadu Sanyas is speaking, Maharaj, I learned it from deer, how I can invite my own problem in my life. Don't become angry. People are so foolish, they are going to invite their own problem. Come, come, come. Problem, they are inviting problem. Come, come, come. This way, they are inviting problem, they are inviting the trap of Maya and they are caught into inside Maya. They are caught, what to do? So, any material sound, except Except Sabda Brahma, Mahaprabhu is not so foolish. Why Mahaprabhu told? You cannot realize why Mahaprabhu told this. Why Mahaprabhu told? The ki shayane ki bhajane kimba jagarane. You understand Bengali? Ki shayane ki bhajane kimba jagarane. Ahar nisha chinta kishna balaha vadane. Mahaprabhu is suggesting, even at the time of sleeping, eating, moving, all the time, without Krishna, don't speak anything. Why? Why? Why Mahaprabhu is speaking like this? Because if you are going to give a slight chance, Maya can enter. Mahaprabhu giving advice, na? Ki shwayane at the time of sleeping. Ki bhajane at the time eating. Ki shayane, ki bhajane, kimba jagarane, ahar nisho chinta Krishna bala havadane. You think about Krishna and speak about Krishna. Don't speak anything, anytime. Even Mahaprabhu giving order to devotees, it is my request to you all that don't speak anything to anybody except Krishna. Except Krishna, don't speak anything to anybody, don't allow anything to speak without Krishna. It can be related to Krishna, but no relation with Krishna. No, don't speak. That's why Mahasu was speaking. Because bonded soul, very poor condition. Also, also, also when 
Mahaprabhu giving advice to Raghunath Das Goswami. Also, when Mahaprabhu giving advice to Raghunath Das Goswami, they are also Mahaprabhu saying, speak. What speaking Mahaprabhu? What Mahaprabhu speaking? Grammo katha na kohi be, gammo bhatta na shuni be, gammo bhatta na kohi be, bhalo na khai be, ar bhalo na kohi. Amanu manu dhoya, shada Krishna naam lobe. This was the advice. That was the most vital advice. That was the most vital advice given by Mahaprabhu to Raghunath Das Goswami. Because Raghunath Das Goswami was very much interested to hear some, to hear some instruction from Mahaprabhu. When Mahaprabhu was, when Mahaprabhu was told by our Sarup Goswami, Raghunath, Raghu like to hear something from you. But he cannot speak directly to Mahaprabhu, he is fearing. He is requesting, I like to hear some, some direct advice from Prabhu. Could you please request? Yes. Then Sarup Gosai is going to request Mahaprabhu, could you please advise something to Raghunath? Raghunath like to hear something directly from you. Mahaprabhu is speaking, why? I already, I already make, I already make Sarup Gosai your Guru. Mahaprabhu speaking, I already make Sarup Gosai your Guru, you can hear from him. Mahaprabhu speaking, he is so knowledgeable personality, Mahaprabhu speaking to Raghunath. Je Sarup is so knowledgeable personality that I am nothing in front of him. Mahaprabhu speaking, Sarup, Sarup, Sarup is so knowledgeable personality, in front of Sarup, I am nothing. Mahaprabhu speaking. You can hear from him. Or Shadda Sadhan Tattva. Shadda Sadhan Tattva. You know, Shadda Sadhan Tattva. Whatever you need to learn, I make him, make him your guru. You can hear from him. Okay. Okay, if you are at all very much interested to hear from me. Okay. If you are at all, if you are at all very much interested to hear from me. Okay, let me speak something. Okay, if you are really very much interested to hear from me, okay, let me speak. What I speak? Then Mahaprabhu speaking, Gramma Katha na sunive, Gramma Katha na koive, Gramma Katha na sunive, Bhalo na khaive or Bhalo na purive. Amani mano dhoiya sada Krishna namla. What is the excellent advice? But it is too, it is, it is too tough for us. Within two lines, Mahaprabhu speaking. You should not hear any material. You, can, you should not speak any material talkings. There should not be any material talkings on, on your behalf. There should not be any material talkings on your behalf. Or you cannot allow anybody to speak material and you can hear with full attention. Not that. The first restriction, Mahaprabhu. You see, what is the link with here? Avadu is speaking, how nice, and what Mahaprabhu already told. Mahaprabhu told, na? Anybody talking material, don't go there. Grammo Kata, all material talkings. Now, everywhere material talkings going on. Everywhere. Everywhere material talking is going on at present. Nobody free from that. Nobody. In school and college, those who are Vaishnava master, Vaishnava master, Vaishnava, they're speaking in the tiffin time, those masters, they're getting together in one place, they're speaking all about dirty things. One Vaishnava master, he is, he is a disciple of Amun Goswami. He told me, Maharaj, I am become helpless. Those master, just in the tiffin time, they can take all their tiffin in one place, all they are speaking dirty things about their family life, they, all dirty things they are speaking, what happened last night, all dirty things they are speaking. He is speaking to me. 
there is a condition. Even master, they have no character, no idealism, nothing. Nothing. So how you can expect, how, it, how you can expect that nice generation you can build up? How you can expect? Both masters, they are going to make our new generation. They are dirty. Father, mother, those who are going to give birth to children, they are characterless, loose character. So how you can expect? Minister level, all contaminated. Even devotional field, all contaminated. Where you can go? Devotional field, all contaminated. Anywhere you go, you go. I tell you, you go anywhere. All material tokens, even in temple, mandir, wherever you go. Business, only money. Everybody busy with earning money. How much money I can earn? There is a target of devotees. Nowhere you can get the scope Harinam Harikita. Or maybe they are playing one record, but that is also not effective. What you can do? And it is really difficult for you when you are watching all your sannyasi brahmacharya, they are enjoying how as a brahmacharya you can avoid. Because bhajan is possible when you can maintain your surrounding situation pure. Bhajan is 80% depend, 80% if not more. Bhajan, your bhajan or anybody's bhajan depend upon 80% dependent upon the surrounding situation in which you are put into. If the surrounding situation is not good, impure, 100% you can develop impurity. Impurity development, you can lose your consciousness. Consciousness drop means you can break your link with the reality. I mean the absolute. This way chain wise. Dhyato Vishana Pung Sham Sangaste Supajayate Sangyat Sangyate Kam Kamat Krodo Abhijayate Krodhat Bhavati Shanmaha Shanmahat Siti Bibham Siti Bibham Shat Buddhinaso Buddhinasat Panasat. All is meditation about matter. All is meditation about matter. Doing bhajan, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. But meditation about matter. Meditation and matter, not doing bhajan. Extreme, extreme dangerous situation. Extreme dangerous. I think from this situation, there is no scope to come back. But still I keep hope because it is never too late. There is one word going on in the wise society, there is never too late. If your decision you are going to change, mentally to change, your honest desire, then never, never it is too late. So I think it is impossible to come back from this Situation, how to come back? Degradation of humanity. Not degradation of bhakti. Bhakti is not there. Bhakti totally off. I am not speaking about bhakti. I am speaking about morality. Degradation of humanity. Even humanity is not there. I am not speaking about bhakti. Bhakti is rare. Even degradation of humanity. Degradation of humanity. Humanity not there. Then how we can get bhakti? Degradation of humanity. It's very painful. Now here, what Mahaprabhu wanted to advise to Raghunath Das Gosai, what Mahaprabhu wanted to advise to Raghunath Das Gosai, same thing we are getting here, na? Eh? Same thing, na? Now Abhadu Sanyas is speaking, don't try to concentrate in material talkings, material sound, nothing. But everywhere material sound, where you can get transcendental sound, a practice of Sabda Brahma, where you can get? Nowhere. Very real. So, Amadhu Sannyas is speaking that 
if you pay attention to this material world concentrating, then surely you can discover yourself in a trap of Maya and you can die. Maybe today or tomorrow it will take time. So many cases I know, some sadhu repeatedly doing wrong, wrong, wrong. Externally nobody can discover he is doing wrong. Finally, in a society, in a society, four times, five times, their Acharya fall down. Four times, five times, they fall down. One Acharya fall down. One Acharya, another fall down. Another Acharya fall down. Another Acharya fall down. All fall down. Not a matter of joke. If we can pay full attention to the teachings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu through the Prabhupada, the only way I speak, if you can pay your full attention to the teachings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu through the Prabhupada, then and only then possible. Otherwise, no possibility. No possibility, I say. No possibility, I say. Only one. So, Abhadu Sannyas is speaking like this. Material talkings, material things, especially mobile is there, all the time. Even one, two years boy, three years boy, three years, you know, crawling, hey, give my mobile, taking mobile. Even one, five years, three years boy, busy with mobile. So every day they are busy with material talkings. Nobody can say, I am free of material. Either speaking material or hearing material, anyway going. So this way, Abhadu Sanyas is speaking. This is one kind of trap of Maya. This is one kind of trap of Maya in which you can fall down today or tomorrow. Be careful about that. So, this is called Sabda. Sparsho, touch, touch, about touch, our Avadut Sanyas is speaking, I learned it from, the previous one he learned from deer, previous one, Shabda, learning from deer, what is a painful condition in which that deer is put into, now speaking about that touch, Sparsha, shuk, enjoyment of touch. I am learning it from elephant. Elephant? Yes. I am learning it from elephant. Because there is sea elephant trained. Those who are going to catch elephant, those who are going to catch elephant, they have some technique. Those who are going to catch elephant, they have some technique. How? What is the technique? But they are very clever. They are going to engage one trained sea elephant. They are going to engage one trained sea elephant. A sea elephant going nicely here and there. And elephant become very attractive. Elephant feeling attraction. But that man, I mean those who are going to put elephant into trap, they are going to make one big, you know, dig, digging one cavity. And uh, above that, they are going to put some uh, leaves and, you know, herbal everything, uh, so that it is ground. Bamboo, small bamboo. So all they are putting, and they are going to make it up like one military wear, you know. Eh? Military man, they are wearing such clothes that if you are there in the, you know, in, in, the, in a booth, Nobody can see, because their cloth is like trees, you know, lip. They are very clever. Sometimes they are lying in the mud, oh, with a gun. And the car going, they cannot notice. Then they fire. But, so, the hunter is so clever, going to make such a, such a trap. An elephant, a strained sea elephant. Sea elephant, what doing? Sea elephant, 
she is trained. Suppose that he elephant is going to chase, and she elephant is so clever, she is trained, she is going this way. He elephant thinking, why should I take trouble so I, I can go straight <laughs> and catch very easily? Very clever. I can go this way, why should I take trouble? Oh, I can catch and enjoy, get the association of that. Now, the elephant don't know, there is one problem, there is one cavity, fall down in the cavity, ah, shouting, <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Already there in cavity. You are shouting, what problem? And sometimes it happens so, elephant and elephant fighting with each other. Ox and ox fighting. Ox and ox. I have seen in Hari, Haridwar. Oh my God, in the market. Bus stand. Ox and ox fighting. To get the association of a cow. Both of them fighting with each other. Oh, so much fighting. All congestion, no traffic jam, all everywhere. <laughs> Police coming, no solution. Oh my God, big problem. All market going, running there. <laughs> all scattered. Haridwar, I have seen in market. Oh, ma. big problem. No solution. Their angry attitude is such angry. The angry attitude, they are not going. Hours after hours. If you become angry after two hours, you can drop. But they are angry not going. Angry is going and going. Fire going up, fighting. Like elephant, elephant and elephant fighting with each other to get the association of the sea elephant. Then they become, sometimes one elephant going to kill another elephant. They are going to die, injure, heavy injury. So. Similar way, I know practically, I know practically, so many incidents. For one lady, for one girl, one girl, three friends fighting. One friend going to kill, another friend, another friend absconding, and police searching. Nobody could marry that girl, but fighting. This is called Maya. This is called illusion. Maya, what do you mean by Maya? Maya means what is not, what is not truth. You, you are bound to believe it. What is not truth? There is no reality. Ah, no reality must be there. That is called Maya. What is not, you can believe that. Maya means what is not, you have to believe that. You have to believe that. So this way, Abhadu Swanas is speaking, one by one, one one thing, if there is so many object of enjoyment, it is sitting in the commentary, there is so many object of enjoyment, and one beautiful lady, it is written in commentary. I am not making any story. So many uh, object of enjoyment, uh, one beautiful lady is there. If one man coming, first is, uh, uh, can look at that woman, first. So many things of attractive things, but when woman is there, first of all, if somebody coming new, can look at that woman. It's quite natural. Because those objects of enjoyment can have one or two or three, but woman having all. You don't understand what it is. Shabda, Sparsu, Rup, Ras, Gandhu. All present in woman. So how much attraction can be there? Follow. Everything you, everything you can get there. That's why Avadu Sanyas is speaking. There is so much fighting going on. On this, on this single issue of woman association. So much excitement, so much fighting, so much problem. All there. Only for one thing. Big problem actually. So, you see, because I also told in Hindi Katha today, if there is no bhakti, if there is no bhakti in a lady, if there is no bhakti in a man, 
any amount of decoration is going to make beautiful cloth, beautiful ornament, all useless. It is written in Shastra. Just like one dead body, just one dead body, can you take trouble to decorate that dead body? Can you take trouble? Cannot. With ornament, one beautiful lady already died. You can take trouble to take all ornament to, uh, and to put there. No, it says die. But can use. So it is in Shastra, it is written in Bhagavad that Mito Dehasya Mandanam Lokaranyanam. One dead body, it is useless to decorate that dead body with different ornament. Because useless. Same example given in Shastra. It is just like Mito Dehasya Mandanam. Mandanam money? Decoration. Sanskrit. Mito Dehasya Mandanam Lokaranyanam. It is only for show. What is the utility? Yesterday also I too. Nonu Pramoda Ogni Shamo Ghrito Kumbho Shamo Puman. Bhagavan speaking. Nonu, Nonu Man is Nishchita Meva, surely. Nonu Pramoda Ogni Shamo Ghrito Sambo Ghrito Kumbho Ghrito Kumbho Shamo Puman. Nonu Man is Nishchita Meva, surely. Know it for sure that woman is like fire and Man is like one pitcher of ghee, butter. It is impossible to avoid. If then it can melt up automatically. So, Mahaprabhu speaking, if you are really interested about Hari Bhajan, if you are really interested about Hari Bhajan, you must be careful about material man and Joshit. Joshit doesn't mean only woman money, position, every word you can make you fall down. All objects are, uh, I mean the object of which you are feeling attraction, all can be treated as, if this room I like very much, oh, this very nice room, this is become Joshit for me. If I think it is a place of Harikatha, then it is not Joshit. Any object, if the, fl if the flower, lotus flower in the garden, going to give you enjoyment, then that lotus flower become, become joshit for you. That lotus flower in the garden become joshit for you because you have enjoying mood. So you see how fine judgment in Gauriya Vaishnava society. Who, man, who is going to care? You speak me, who is going to care? You, you show me who is going to care? Nobody like Less interest. Ah, useless. Where you can get? No scope. So, Shabda Sparsho. Sparsho Shuk, I already told yesterday, even Pururava, the great personality, he also become bigger. He is going to catch the load, going to catch the lotus feet of Urvashi. Come on. He is going to catch a lotus in Urvasi. Oh my God! It's so powerful. Even on behalf of on behalf of demigod, he can fight alone. So powerful. So in Shastra it is written, all you can lose, all you can lose, everything, if you are having attraction for Joshim, you can lose everything. Everything you can lose. So, now, Shabdo, Sparsho, Rup, Rup I already told, beautiful. Those insects, insect going to jump into fire. Insect they are going to jump into fire and going to die. So, Avadu Sanyas is speaking, I am learning from, I am learning it from that insect that you see they are feeling irresistible pressure urge feeling irresistible they're gonna stop running towards fire they cannot stop themselves 
running towards fire. They are going to bound to run and going to run into fire to die. This way, I am learning it from the insect. If by watching a beautiful lady, if you are going to feeling attraction, be sure that you are going to jump into fire. That yesterday I told, what is that? Drishta Sriyam Deva Mayam Tad Bhavai Rajitendriya Pradavita Patati Andhe Tamasi Ang Tamasi Agnu Patangavat. Similarly, like that insect going to fire. Rosh. Abhadu Sanna speaking, I'm I'm learning from fish. Those who are going for fishing, fishing guard. Or those who are very clever. What they are doing? They are going to put different attractive item in their nail, I mean that hook, putting and putting in the water. And by watching by the lucrative offer, by watching this lucrative offer, then the fish cannot check. Watching, first of all, going to tuck, tuck, oh, very tasty, going to grabs, ah, going to swallow. And when swallow, then that hook going to catch here. Then the man going to, ah, going to get a fish. Follow. You're going to get a fish. This way, is very dangerous. Very, very. That's why I can make a link with. I can make a link with the teachings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. You can remember Mahaprabhu told to Raghunath Dasgupta, "Balona kaibya balona. Don't try to. Don't never try to take nice nice thing. I can make a link. Mahaprabhu already told." Those who are busy to collect nice, nice prasa, ah, very tasty. They can never do bhajan. They can never do bhajan. Even in Upadeshamrita, I already told. Bacho begam, manasaha, krodha begam, jiva begam, udarapastha begam. I already told there. So, I can make a link with the teachings of Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu told the Raghunath. They don't try to take nice. Oh, now today is very good. When there is very plain prasadam, only dal and only some two chapati. Oh, it's not. I have no appetite. And when there's, <laughs> they, they're speaking, no appetite. When there's nice prasadam, oh, you give me. Uh, there is plain prasadam, very ordinary. Oh, I have no appetite. You, you take. If there is paramanna, sweet ball, and a rasamalai, then, oh, you are not giving to me, you are taking yourself alone. <laughs> this, is the, this, is, this is our calcul this is our calculation, this is our estimation about the dignity of prasadam. About prasadam it is written, if you want dog going to touch, still you can take this prasadam, Jagannath prasadam. Even when dog already going, but still no condiment you can take and take. But that prasadam here. Yeah. So it is written like the peace, like the peace going to put, going to invite problem. Like the like that fish going to invite problem. Similarly, you are going to invite problem in search of nice, nice prasadam, in nice, nice bandara, bandara, yeah, Gopinath Gauri, nice bandara today. Or there, you know, Chaitanya, nice bandara, I can go there. Sridhar Maharaj, no respect for Sridhar Maharaj. No respect for Sridhar Maharaj, but has respect for the nice, nice prasadam. All going, no respect. If you speak, what you learn from Sridhar Maharaj, you cannot speak. Oh, they are serving nice prasadam, I must go there. I have. They are not going to this. This is the nature. So, those who are running for nice, nice prasadam, surely they can develop 
another pressure. I mean karma. Those who are always busy to take niceness, they have karma, 100%. They cannot check themselves. Genital controlling they don't have. Sure, it is interrelated. You are, you know, if you lock tongue, if you lock, tongue is check up, then you can come, there is belly, I mean, enough amount of pressure you can, do, you can reduce. If you make a key here, lock, then it is already here lock, already down also lock, everything lock, all problem over. But we are interested to take nice, nice sabha, which can put us in problem. Never we can go out of this problem if we are not going to follow Guru Vaishnava. Pure Guru Vaishnava, you can see, they are less interested to take nice, nice things. Somehow they like to protect their life. Somehow they like to protect their life. No time. Only they like to protect their Oh, somehow I can. No time to take. How they can take prasad? No time now. So to take nice now, you need time now. And to relish, you know, nice, you know. Now this way, Shabdo Sparsho, Rup Rash. Follow, Rup Rash. Gondo, also Gondo. You should also Gondo. Gondo, you can. This way, you see, Gondo also, we can find one heat here, having one, they are developed one thing. They develop. There is one very nice, it's called Kosturi. They are running like mad. But the smell is already there. Smell is already there. But they are running here and there. In search of that scent. In search of that scent, they are running here and there. All where from this scent coming. Also, I can give another example. There is honey in the lotus flower, any flower. In, in search of that honey, when honeybees, there is two type of, one is black bees, one is black bees, one is honey bees. Black bees, they are very clever. Black bees, they are very clever. They are getting the scent of that honey, they are going there. And taking honey, and fly away. But those are honeybees, they are foolish. Honeybees, what happens? They are going to take honey. Take honey. At the same time, cannot remember that now lotus flower going to close his birds. Oh my God. He is absorbingly giving attention to the honey. Very relish, testing honey. But in the evening time, when the lotus flower is just contraction, I mean going to close, the honey going to honey honeybee is in trap and going to die. Also another problem, black bees only going to take honey according to their necessity and fly. But honeybees, they are foolish, they are going to take enough honey after the collecting and going to put in one very secret place. They are going to, he, I know, he by, hey, you know, uh, honey, honeybees, they are going to make, beehive, they are going to make, very secret place. Nobody can check up, they are going to very secret place, going to make one beehive, uh, going to collect honey and put honey, put honey, put honey. They are going to make a, for future, for future, follow. For future there, are why not? If there is no security of your life, I, uh, for future what we can do? They can do collect honey. Ultimately, what happens? They are putting, they are putting so much energy to collect so much honey from different flowers, giving so much energy. But finally, what happens? Outside man, searching where is a beehive? They are coming with the fire, you know, fire lighting. 
torch, they're going to burn all high bees, they're going to collect honeys, cut the honey bees, collecting honey and going away. You see? So much energy for years. For years they are making honeybees. But within some, within a certain uh, limit of time, very shortly, men coming and cut the honeybees and destroy everything and take the honey and go. Similarly, Abhadu Sanyas is speaking, man, come on. What is the great trouble, you see? Men earning money or so many things doing. At the same time, you see, they are going to collect. They are not only enjoying. They are keeping it for future. They are keeping it in future. But ultimately, what happens? Some decoits can come, some loot. Huh? Looter can come, can decord, they are going to cut and throw everything and take everything. All money gone. All money gone. This way, this way, how great trouble. They, sometime, they are going to, sometime I have seen, they are going to deposit money, not eating. Oh, in future, they are depositing money. Very, somehow they are going to make. They are depositing money. Somehow they are leading life. Oh, for future. But after that, what is future? All the deposited money all gone. Everything destroyed. There is fire. They all destroyed. All. Now, for years after years, they wanted to deposit their future plan. All destroyed within fraction of second. Follow. This way, you see, the case I can speak someday after. I can speak the case of that Tirandi Vikshuk. He is not himself enjoying, or he is not allowing his family member to enjoy, not arranging. But finally, what happens? All gone. But this case is a little bit different where he developed detachment suddenly. I can speak about it after some days. Now, it is written that very, you know, those who are going to enjoy Maduha, the honeybees, they have problem, you know. So, about honeybees I already tell, about the pressure of your tongue. Your tongue always like to get nice, nice things. It is the topmost problem in your life. It is written in Bhagavatam. But if your tongue, if you are failure to get control over your tongue, if you are just failure to get control over your tongue, then be, then be sure you are going to die. I mean, your spiritual death. That's why in Bhagavatam it is written, Tavat Jitendriyo no Shat Bijitan Bijitan Anendriyo Pamano no Jayad Rasam Rasanam Javad Jitam Sarvam Jite Rase. What is speaking? But a Tavat Jitendriyo no Shat. Till then, till then, till then, we cannot speak that you are successful to get control over your sense organ. Till then we cannot see. Till then we cannot give you certificate that you are having control over a whole sun. Till then, and so long as you are, so long as you are, so long as you are having no controlling over your tongue, till then we cannot give any certificate to anybody. If give, it can prove to be failure. Follow. So long as you are not, so long as you are not having controlling over your tongue, we can anyhow cannot give you certificate that you are having sense control. Because if your tongue is not under control, anytime you can die. Anytime. Any moment 
Not any time, any moment you can die. Tabad jitendriyo na shat vijitan endriyo pamanu na jayed rasanam javad jitam sarvam jiterase. What speaking? Tabad jitendriyo na shat vijitan endriyo pamanu na jayed rasanam javad jitam sarvam jiterase. Javad tabad jitendriyo na shat. Vijitan anandriyo anandriyo pramana na jayad rasanam javad jitam sarvam jite rase. If you are having controlling of your tongue, then be sure all sense organs can come under your control. Guarantee. Bhagavatam, in Bhagavatam, guarantee given there. Be sure. If you are successful to get control over your sense, tongue, today or tomorrow you are successful. All sense organs can come. No problem. So, what is the conclusion? Jitam sarvam jite rase. If rasana test, because Gaurkishar Babaji Maharaj taking dry chapati, or yesterday's rice given in water, taking it. We know. Now, would present at a very rare previous one sadhu. In a week, one time going in the market, I mean the Brajavasi to get chapati and going to bring and put chapati dry, dry chapati, every day four or five chapati putting into water and salt and become soft, then taking. You cannot imagine. I myself know. I have not taken dry chapati anywhere. Brajavasi, they used to take, give me, uh, you know, fresh. But still, I need to go long distance to bake for chapati and come back and offer to Giriraj Maharaj somehow. So, tough life. Tough life, but still, it is full of thrill and enjoyment because you can do. You are not going to depend upon somebody. You are anyway not going to depend upon. If you depend upon somebody, then you cannot do bhajan. You will have to depend upon Bhagavan. You have to depend upon Bhagavan. Then you can do bhajan. So now that Abhadu Sanyas is speaking, now that Abhadu Sanyas is speaking about one pros name is Pingala. Now, Abhadu Sanyas is speaking about one pros name is Pingala, what he learned from him. Ajagastapasi. That Pingala, that pros, she is earning money by selling her own body. Very painful. They are selling their own body and earning money. This way they are earning money. But, Every day he is standing in the gate side, night time. She is thinking, I can get one very lumpat. Lumpat means no sense control. Such a personality I can get. I can get enough. Oh, this nice chap, you know, nice chap coming. Maybe he can give money. See, he can feel attraction for me. Can give enough money. Oh, he's gone. Oh, maybe some another people can come. So is she is waiting. Every day she is dressing nicely. Every day she is dressing nicely and sitting, uh, uh, sitting or standing outside gate to catch people, so that they can feel attraction and they can come and give enough money to enjoy. This is the life. Day by day, whole life gone this way. One day what happens, who knows? One day what happened, who knows? One day what happened? But one day, whole night is standing. Switching. For the past two days, I am not getting enough uh, donation, I mean money. So, today I can dress nicely and stand. She is standing, hours after hours, midnight over. She is waiting. Oh, that man going. 
Maybe he can come and give enough money to me. Oh no, gone. Oh, no. Then when I can wait for another. This way, whole night over, finally, she was feeling disgusted. Whole night over, even she could not take rest for five minutes. Whole day, restless. Become restless, going outside, oh, again coming inside, even go outside, even restless condition. Finally, he developed detachment. Finally, he developed it. But actually, this way, nobody can develop detachment. What was the case? What was the case with Pingala? What was the case with Pingala that, should do, that you should learn? Why Avadut Mara speaking? I learn it from peace. I learn it from deer. I learn it from you know. I learn it from insect. I learn it from from different. Follow. So what is the thing? What is the thing that Avadut Sanyasi learning from that cross? That is the main question. So much, you know, because he is making so much guru. Actually, actually those who are Paramahansa Vaishnava, actually those who are Paramahansa Vaishnava, really like that. They are always learning, learning from, they are learning from disciple also. That's why Prabhupada used to say, they are my, all my guru. They are going to protect me. Paramahansa Guru Vaishnava, never thinking, you are my disciple. Rather, they are thinking, you are my guru. You are my guru. A Paramahansa, a Paramahansa Guru Vishnu never think, you are my disciple. No. You are my guru. That is the nature. Now, this Abhadu Sanyasi learning so many things from different sources, from honeybees, black bees, you know, from here, there, so many things, you know. But what the thing what is the thing he is going to learn from that, from that pros? That is the main thing. And how he learn? Because there is no possibility that that Abhadut Maharaj can go and take the association of that pros. How possible? One question can come now. There is no possibility that the pros can meet with that, you know, Abhadut. There is no possibility. He is uh, detachment. And she is actually pros. There is no possibility of meeting. Yes. But still, there is a possibility. How? One day, I already told, this Abhadu Sanyasi have no desire. No desire. Sometime here, sometime there. No attachment. By chance, that day, by chance, by chance, that day, that Abhadu Sanyasi happened to be there in the veranda of that Pengala. Veranda, outside veranda, not inside room. Suppose one house is there, outside rock is there, no? He went there and slept. Because he is Abhadu, no surety where going, how going. Oh, by chance, it happened so, it happened so, he went there and sleeping in the veranda. Nice looking, no excitement, always peaceful. By watching, by watching that Avadu Sanyasi, there was some reaction inside the heart of Pingala. Follow. By watching that Avadu Sanyasi, no bed, nothing. How that man is so happy? I am unhappy. No bed, nothing. No clothes, nothing. Going to sleep nicely. <gasps> Nicely. How deep sleep? And people going to take pill, a sleeping pill. Still they cannot sleep. People they are going to doctor, Maharaj, no sleeping. You arrange sleeping pill. But without any problem. A sleeping nice. So there was some reaction inside the heart of the Pingala by watching that Avadut. That was the main reason for why for some days he is feeling some changes inside heart. 
Uh, you don't like to act as a pros anymore. Why? And finally, that was the day, that was the final day when he developed detachment. Oh, I am useless. I am, I am, I am useless. I am so dirty lady. Why I am going to sell my body? Ah. Why should I sell my body in front of the, the, that, you know, material man, their body is perishable. Perishable body, no? They're going to go spoiled. So why should I give? So better I can, I can give my body, mind and everything to Parat Parakhileshya Bhagavan Sri Krishna. He is a superhero and eternal, eternal resistance it can be there. That hero can die. But that hero is not going to die, so better I can make eternal relations with Krishna. I can give my body, mind, everything. Oh my God, I have done so wrong. I have done so wrong. Oh, unexcusable. Unexcusable, I have done so wrong. Anyway, what done, done. What is done, done. Anyway, now change is coming. Now change is coming inside my heart. So at least I can do. It is never too late. It is never too late. Because you change your heart. If you, are, if you are going to develop honest intention, someday, so how I can say it is, how I can say it is too late? It is never too late. How I can say it is too late? I cannot say. Because in Paramartha line, I have no right to speak too late. In Paramartha line, in Bhajan line, I cannot blame somebody who are too late. No. Anytime the changes can come, anytime, can, anytime changes can come, who can say? So I cannot say it's too late. I can say it is never too late to give them inspiration. It is never too late. You can try, okay, okay, okay you can try. Who knows? You can come out successful. I can give one example from Bhagavatam. I can give one example from Bhagavatam. Khattanga Raja. Kattanga Raja, he was left with only Shamurta, 48 minutes. That Kattanga Raja was so powerful, so powerful, he was alone, successful to, to fight with demons. Kattanga Raja, so powerful. Demigods, they used to take his help. Come on, the demigods, they used to come and help us. He used to fight Kattanga Raja. And finally, those demigods wanted to bless. You are, hey, O oh king, O oh king, you are, you are helping us very much. You are helping us very much. So we like to give some benediction. What kind of, what kind of benediction do you fancy? What kind of benediction do you fancy? Then Kattanga Raja, well, I can ask for benediction, but first I like to know about uh, the uh, how long I am going to live more. That you first tell me. After that I can take decision. I can calculate. First of all, I like to know how long I am going. To, how how long I am going to live? How more? Eh? Then those king, those those you know demigod speaking. Oh king, we are very sorry to speak. Oh king, we are very sorry to speak. There is only only 40, 48 minutes left in your ah 48 minutes yes only 40 then you bless me so that I can I can concentrate onto the lotus feet of Bhagavan what because 48 minutes 48 minutes nothing I cannot go to Switzerland or Africa Russia nothing no, I can eat nothing so 40 48 minutes is nothing so better you can bless me so that I am able to concentrate unto the lotus feet of Bhagavan. Okay, okay, we bless you. Then Kattanga Raja, leaving everything within fraction of a second, going to concentrate unto the lotus feet of Bhagavan Hari. And that 40 minutes, that 48 minutes was more than sufficient for Kattanga Raja. Why you can cry and I can cry? Why? 48 minutes were more than sufficient. Of course, we have no guarantee of our life. Maybe after Harikatha I can die. Who can say? 
or I can live more five years or ten years. Who can say? No guarantee. So we cannot put any guarantee. So we cannot take any risks. We cannot take. We cannot take any risks. We cannot take any risks to waste our life to spoil our life. So we must be very careful about that. So final teaching. That Abhadu Sanyas is speaking in front of Jodhu Maharaj. Jodhu Maharaj, I have learned this thing from Pingala, that pros, that if you expect anything, if you have any hope, you will have to suffer. No hope, no suffering. Asahi Dukshamulam Asha. What is the comment? What is the comment? What was the comment? What was the comment of that? What was the comment of that Abhudu Sanyasi? Asahi Dukshamulam Nairasham Paramam Shukham. Asahi Dukshamulam. The root cause of all painful situation is my desire. Why I desire? Of course, Guru Vaishnav, their desire, their desire is not material desire. I can discuss over it someday. So, the final teachings. Avadu Sanyas is speaking, Asahi, Asahi Dukshamulam, Asahi Dukshamulam, Nairasham Paramam Sukham. Aham Apritartha Karana Nishinishayana, Nana Mano Ratha Diya Chana Bhagna Nidra, Daiva Hatartha Rachana Risayo Yopi Deva, Jishmat Prashanga Bimukha, Yuha Sangsaranti, Jishma Prashanga Vimukha, Yuha Sangsaranti, Vancha Kalpadosha Kepasindi Bhavaja, Patitan and Pavana Bho, Vaishnav Bho Namo. You can do some kirtan for, small kirtan you can do, because every day my throat is not going to permit, my throat. Speaking now, six hours, eight hours, sometime problem. I, I like to do kirtan. But if I do, morning time I cannot speak. Dhanadharam bande Gopalam Gopurupinam Gokulamaha Svavati Mishanam Gobinda Gopika Priyam 
जय पुरुषोत्तम भगवान की जय हो